Hey everyone, this is Jay Clark over here at Fargo 3D Printing. Now, sometimes you need to send in your printer to get repairs or you're going to an event, a trade show. I'm gonna actually show you how to prepare your Rep2 and your Rep2X so that it doesn't get any damage during shipping. The tools that will be required for this are side cutters, six zip ties, one belt clamp, and one Z-axis clamp. The first thing we're gonna do is move the extruder head to the left side of the printer and then all the way forward. Next, push the x-axis belts together, grab your belt clip, slide the slot of the belt clip over the belts, and then snap the belt clip onto the linear rails. You should hear two firm clicks. After we've secured the belt clamp, we'll take the build plate out, move the arms up, set the build plate underneath the arms, and move the arms back down. The reason we take the build platform out is so that the tabs in the front don't get damaged during shipping. After the arms are all the way down, we'll take our Z-axis clamp and snap that into place. Next, what we're going to do is take a zip tie and run that down between the side panel and the metal frame. Then we'll take the end of the zip tie, loop that underneath the Y-axis rail, and up over the top back into the head of the zip tie. Pull to secure. You can use a notch in the metal frame to line up the zip tie. Do the same procedure that you did for the left rear side for the right rear side. Once you have done both the back left and back right of the printer, we can now move to the front and tie down the gantry system. To zip tie the front, you'll need to combine two zip ties together as shown. For the right side of the gantry, we'll take one set of these zip ties and run it down between the right side and the metal frame as shown. We'll loop the bottom zip tie up underneath the motor and tighten to secure. To secure the extruder, what we'll do is we'll run one of the zip ties down between the front panel and the front frame, and then the other zip tie will go underneath the motor cable. You'll take the one end of the zip tie and meet it up with the other zip tie. Then you'll tighten to secure. Make sure that the zip tie is on the carriage itself as shown and underneath the heater block. Make sure this is a snug fit and that the zip ties are fastened securely to the carriage. After all the zip ties are secure, double check to make sure that they are tight. You can now either leave the zip tie ends or you can clip them off. Either way is fine. To box up your printer, you'll actually need a box that is about 2 to 3 inches larger on each side of the 3D printer. Place a few layers of bubble wrap in the bottom of the box, then place the machine in the box and fill with the remaining bubble wrap. Make sure you put bubble wrap inside the machine in case anything does come loose. Put a couple layers of bubble wrap on top, then tape the box. If you do not have the original MakerBot box, don't worry. If you have any questions, put those down in the comments or shoot us an email at support at fargo3dprinting.com and we'll gladly get those answered for you.